You've heard from rock stars, producers, technicians, and musicians. But have you heard from security? In today's clip, Larry talks to John Guarneri, a graduate of Norwich University, Corps of Cadets who has served under the Obama administration. Since then, John has switched roles to COO of Silver Spear Security and head of security for the band Shinedown. In this clip, John gives us a rundown on his process of handling a show in different cities and countries and how one crowd of audience is never the same. If you want to hear more about John, make sure to check out the full episode, number 174, from July 13th, 2020. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subbing. Here are Larry and John. How much stuff happens? We'll, we can we can break it down to, you know, the your political side, your Secret Service side, and the entertainment side. How much stuff is going on? That we have um, no I- that we have no idea. Okay, is so going on. like you'll, I mean, obviously now the media is very. I don't subscribe to the media on either side right now because it's too. I don't know what you don't know. It's just everything slanted. Yeah, and so when I was doing the Secret Service stuff, you see everything firsthand. Like you would, you would know. Oh, cool! Right? They got a bin Laden before it's announced. Like stuff like that, where you're kind of like. Oh, they passed the healthcare summit like two hours before it gets announced. Like stuff like that, you're just kind of yeah. like. Um, but there's bomb threats every day. There is attempts on the president's life. There's attempts on any official that we secure, protect. There's attempts on. There's threats every day. Mm. You don't hear about them um, because it's it, you've gotten so accustomed to doing your job, and that it's part of the part of the protocol. Yeah. Um, and so I laugh when the, recently it was like, oh, Trump went to the bunker. So what? Like, that's our job or their job to get him in there. Like, he, he's the president of the United States. Like, I don't care. There's, there should be nothing political about hiding in the bunker. Right. If, even if he wanted to, whatever, even if he was like, you're going to grab my wife, you're going to grab my son. You're, our first action, we're grabbing you, sir. Then we'll grab your family. So this is our call. Right. And you have the right people in place to do that. Yeah. I just don't like how they kind of politicize that aspect of sure the job per se uh but every tour you do there is you have the every city will have that baby that one stalker that sends weird emails and social media messages or um crazy stuff it must, be, it must obviously it's part of the job but it also must be exhausting because you have to you have to take every threat as a credible threat. That, and that's the thing too especially this day and age because anyone can literally show up at a venue and some of these venues like you know you pull up to the backstage with the buses the general public's right there yeah there's totally. a couple of security guys yeah. that you're hoping are great they usually are but the minute they turn the back some guy could jump that stupid bike rack or pull it apart and now he's got a gun or a gonna so you just kind of like i can't i can't tell you how many shows i've gone to as roadie free radio right and right. I, I used to go with a camera and stuff like that i used to go to more shows before it was just easier to do the show like this through a Skype call. It got, got too expensive at the time. So how many times I would just roll up and be like, Oh yeah, I'm doing an interview or, you know, whatever, especially if it was an outdoor gig. Oh, oh, and yeah, like you we, said, yeah, like Tedeschi yeah, trucks, yeah, right. Tedeschi trucks at Simsbury Meadows. I just crawl, you know, cruised on back there and was hanging out by the buses until I met <laughs> the guy I was supposed to interview. And I was thinking I have a tripod case and stuff like that. Anything could have been in there, you know? Right. Crazy. And that was only a couple of years ago. Right. Where shit had yeah, already so, happened. I mean, that's, you know? There's always that. And then festivals too now. Everything You have the dressing room compound over here. You got VIP over there. You got the stage you want to go to. You got two bad guys that want to go over there, right. which it not it's an issue. But as you start moving around and you got 60,000 people moving around too, you're just kind of like, man, this could get really bad. And especially if there's a tornado or inclement weather, you got people running through their cars. And Jesus, right. You're just like, oh, I hope no one gets trampled. And so every show, like I always get a back report. I always know how many people get evicted. Um, usually nine times out of ten, it's a drunk guy. There's you been a couple that, of times. To- a post, a post right, show right. Report. So I, you, you, I, so I advance aware after the show, if I'm not at my desk, leave it on my laptop or yeah. email me a PDF of like the events that happened, how many EM, EMS calls. What call was it? It was a diabetic. Was it a heart issue? Was it dehydration? How, how many you, fights? How, you, got how do you use that information post show? And so to, I, for the I, next I have ones. I have every single uh, report from 2014 to now. So I probably have Jesus, three thousand reports. And so every time I go back in that city, I can pull that out. It's usually the same staff. It will kind of snicker and be like, "Hey, remember this time." 
um, see if that not if we can beat the arrest, but see uh, you can kind of you can basically build your own kind of graph of how we're trans change like going. Is the older crowd being an issue now? Or the younger, and then also too the event of litigation or something happens where someone sues like oh one of the crew guys or the bad guy knocked over a camera on me or. The, the bad guy threw a pick in my eye or I'm sore for this. Well, I'm looking at the report now. I don't see any medical calls. Mm. So that right there tells me you, this is the story's bullshit. So you do it to protect yourself, your company, but also the band, the crew. And so I, I definitely think even if you don't have security with you, I think everyone should always get those reports. Wow. That's fantastic. And, 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 Probably super informative, like you said. I mean, yeah, like, there's some <laughs> cities too where you, like certain festivals where you're like, yeah, like you. Uh, we always joke like we every time I've been in Edmonton, obviously with Nickelback, and even with Shine Down now, it's been like a blue collar hockey crowd, mm. and it just fights, and they're all farm boys and girls, and they're just drinking beer. Like there's never an issue, but there is. And by I say issue, I mean there's definitely every time where like, oh, this crowd sucks. This is too violent. Right. right. But they are. They keep you on your toes. Right. I mean, every time I've been there, the last time was shined down. The first time I was there was them. I think we had 56 people over the barricade. This recent time, 92 in a fight in the, in a fight in the barricade. Wow. And they're just – so you look at numbers like that, but you take that same type of people in Wisconsin, no issues. Right. Or Texas, but New Jersey might be rowdy. California might be rowdy. Poland's crazy, but uh, – Italy might not be crazy. So you kind of I, – I just like look at the numbers and kind of being like – it's kind of cool seeing those stats in real yeah. time. Yeah, right. That's amazing, man. Um, what are what are the, some of the hot countries that, you know, you see them on your list. You're going to you're like, oh, Jesus, that one's going to be – that's going to be true. Uh, I think the, when it first started, like the whole Germany area with uh, the, the migrant, um, all those refugees. I think the refugees. Um, and so you're kind of like – and there's a lot of influx. It's political. We were just in Paris during the Paris riots. Mm. Our hotels, you could see the streets being shut down. And so when that happens, you're watching the news. You're talking with the Live Nation promoter there. You're talking with the local police, venue security. Hey, where are these riots coming? If their riot blocks the doors to the, the venue, how we get people in? Is the show going to be delayed? How do we get to the hospital if they start blocking the exits? Where are our buses parked? So you have to be kind of cognizant of what's going on in the world too, yeah. Because um, it could change on a dime, right? Um, like if you were in the U.S. right now, there's no COVID, but you're there, there's still uh, pro protests or peaceful or not, you still have to deal with the influx of seventy thousand people walking around the city that night. And so it's the stuff you always have to come across. Yeah. Um, I think I don't know. I mean, there's the Germany area, Belgium, Brussels, Paris. You're always kind of like, eh. But there's I I would go there I'd go there tomorrow like I love those countries I love the people there yeah um, South America I've done a couple I've done a bunch of details in like Juarez Guadalajara Mexico City and everyone's kind of like oh it's yeah it, it's Mexico City I I man I think New Jersey's worse off than Mexico City in terms of crime or Chicago <laughs> yeah um, but. Like Juarez and Guadalajara, you read about it, you know what's down there. You always see in the news like cartels, people beheaded, kidnapped. But if, as long as you're smart and you don't do anything that draws attention to yourself, being an idiot, there's no issues down there. Yeah, I mean, it helps if you've been down there a lot. You have a good like a tour guide or um, a uh, interpreter with you and stuff. But you're never. Those would probably be the scariest places I've been, but I mean, I've been down in Rio um, for the Olympics right weekend before when that all went crazy, and it, you just got to deal with it. Hey, what's happening, roadies? It's Larry here. Just wanted to thank you so much for listening to this short clip. I really hope you got something out of it. If you can take two seconds to head over to iTunes and drop us a review or a comment, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Keep listening. Keep coming back. Stay healthy out there. And remember, no roadies, no rock and roll. Yeah.